How's it going? My name is Tim. Welcome to my shop. And a couple weeks ago, I broke my big thumping mallet that I use mainly for chopping out mortises. So today, I'm going to take some scraps and I'm going to make another one. All right, here's the scraps that I have. So this is a uh, about a four quarter piece of walnut and I have a 18 inch long piece of ash for the handle. I'm going to need to laminate the mallet head out of this. So I'm looking at about maybe about six inches wide and then do about a little over three inches for the height of the head. So I'm going to go ahead and mark a few of them on here. And one thing I like to do when I'm marking, you can see it here, is actually draw two lines and then saw in between those two lines. That kind of gives me uh, a little bit of space if my saw tends to wander a little bit and I don't have to actually saw on the line. I know I'm not going to be going through any of the pieces that I actually need. And I start out here in the vise and my tenon saw isn't quite uh, deep enough to go the whole way around. So I end up switching over to my bench stop and finishing up the rest of the cut there. Actually this little bench stop is very, very handy, so I'll leave a little link um, up in the corner to that video where I made this one, and super, super helpful. And once the pieces are all sawed to their rough shape, I will go ahead and mark the grain. That's basically so when I'm planing it down a little later, I can make sure that I'm planing with the grain in all three pieces, just so kind of eliminate a little bit of tear out. And since I'm going to be laminating these together, the first thing to do is just create some flat faces on the middle so that I can do some gluing up. Uh, these don't have to be perfect at all, and I'm actually going to leave the external faces rough so I can do that later after everything's all glued up. So I like a bit of weight to my mallets and I didn't think it would be quite heavy enough with just the walnut head. So I'm gonna stick some of these uh, fender washers inside just to give it a little more weight. So what I've done is kind of roughly laid out the shape of the head um, just so I know where I can drill my holes into this centerpiece and not get in the way of any of the joinery. Uh, so it looks, looks like about there is probably pretty good. All right, and I really only have to bore two holes uh, just in the center section, and I'm just gonna fill those with the washers. But while I do that and I do some glue up, um, I can talk a little bit about the mallet design that I'm using. So this is taken out of the Woodworker, uh, the Charles Hayward Years, the book by Lost Art Press, and this is the second volume. Um, it, he actually calls it a uh, German type mallet. Um, in the what well, in the picture, it's um, labeled the continental continental pattern mallet, um, and he's got some dimensions and things there. But it's a, a relatively simple design. Um, he doesn't add the weight to it, but I I like a little bit more weight to my mallet, so I, I went ahead and did that. But um, the design is relatively simple because the the mortise is just this straight hole through so the handle when it goes through is just going to be a, um, a circular hole rather than a square mortise so that makes the construction pretty simple and it's going to be wedged at the top um, and I'm going to use the lathe to turn the handle later and you'll see you'll see how I do that and here we are just adding some extra weight there and that just fills in that that center piece of the lamination uh, but it did did add some nice weight to the mallet so I, I like how that that extra weight turned out um, and obviously this is all going to be glued up so I'm going to make sure that I'm going to mark the external faces as well so I know the exact center Uh, one other thing to mention here is the glue that I'm using. This is the dark type on glue, 
and because it's a walnut head, um, that dark glue just hides those glue lines. And it's actually, well, I've used it a couple times, but um, it's a nice, a nice glue. Um, it really hides the glue lines nicely, so it's recommended on on dark woods like walnut. And speaking of the glue lines, just um, quick, quick skip planing to um, get rid of those. And then I will go back and just do the shape of the head. Um, each face of the mallet is at a slight angle. It's uh, about five degrees. So I'm gonna make sure that um, I just set the bevel gauge and just use the five degrees on both sides. And then obviously making sure that I have the, the center marked. And the top of the head um, is gonna be curved a little bit but I'll, I mean, that's all after the fact. So here we are with a, a pre-cambered jack plane, just getting that little curve to the top and then kind of finishing up with a, a slightly thinner shaving black jack plane. Um, this is a five and a half. And then I will um, just mark the center where I'm gonna drill that hole. And I didn't have a bit, uh, well, a bracing bit that was the right size, so I actually did that on the drill press. So um, I didn't have a camera on that, but you know, it's just a hole straight through, and just a little cleanup work before I put the head on the handle, um, just because that's going to be a lot easier to to do, um, especially the bottom where the handle is going to come out of. And at this point, I mean, the head is, is pretty much done. There's a little bit more shaping to do, but we are on to the handle. Um, and anybody who's watched any of my other videos knows that I'm really not a good turner. Um, but basically what I started out with is making sure that the end that's going to go through the head is just going to match exactly. And then I'll leave a little bit of extra space. Um, and then for the actual handle part, I kind of just start at one end and work my way to the other end. Um, so there's still going to be flats on each side, so it's not a perfectly circular handle. Uh, it's actually got a uh, kind of a rectangular cross section, I guess. And I added a couple little uh, embellishments on the handle too, which I think look nice. Um, just a couple burned in lines. And then I just cut a got a kerf for the wedge at the top and yeah, just a little more shaping to the bottom of the handle and last a little bit of shaping to the head just some um, chamfers on the corners just to soften them up a little bit again not really necessary but looks good um, and I love doing this. Um, I have a whole video about it actually, so I'll link that up there too. Um, it's just fun to break out the block pane and do some do some chamfers. And now finally, the assembly. Uh, my my handle's maybe slightly undersized, but it was a relatively easy fit. And it's a little bit long, so I'll trim that off later. But I'm uh, making sure to add the a little bit of glue to the, the wedge at the top, and then just go ahead and hammer it down. Uh, mine actually cracked, it was pretty thin, so it actually cracked when I was hammering it, but it was um, luckily above the, the head. So uh, come back with a flush saw, and then clean it up with a block plane. And then I think I switch over to a smoothing plane eventually just to make sure that that's nice and um, nice and smooth at the top. Has a nice look too. Um, should keep it relatively tight. Mark there before the finish, 
and the finish is um, it's just that easy easy furniture finish uh, it's a, a third boiled linseed oil uh, a third wiping varnish and then a third mineral spirits um, I think I put two coats on total and it's just a nice nice easy finish that you can stick on um, in between coats you just uh, do a quick wipe and then a quick sanding and that's it and there we go um, so there's the finished project uh, it's yeah looks nice um, I might be might be afraid to use it a little bit but I'll probably do a piece of leather on the one side and then um, you know start start thumping away and that is it for me thank you for watching overall I'm really really happy with the way that this mallet turned out I'm glad that I added the extra weight in it I like how it feels um, I might line one of the faces with some leather but other than that it is done um, construction was pretty simple made even more simple by the circular tenon um, rather than cutting a, a square mortise in this big block so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram the wireless woodworker and on twitter the wireless ww and i'll see you next time